This is tutorial 1, question 9. In here, we are asked to find the variable h such that the vectors are linearly dependent. Basically, we are given two column vectors, two variables x and y, and to find that these three vectors are linearly dependent, it means that this vector can be formed by linear combinations of this two vectors here. To solve the problem, the easiest way is to put the two column vectors in the matrix form. So we now have the first column, the second column, multiplying by the x1, x and y, so it's matrix vector multiplication given the vector we want, which is basically ax equals to b the problem. We are given two columns a1 and a2 but b is r3 so we're left wondering whether we have enough columns of a to solve for b never mind we proceed in the augmented matrix case we put a into here b into here and we perform gaussian elimination as we progress in gaussian elimination look on the right hand side to see the operations we are doing after each step, we can find the pivot. And in the next step, we have also found that we have reached this all zeros here and non-zeros here. Remember that one of the elementary row operations is that we can exchange rows. So we exchange these rows to go up. And what happened is that then we can say that this equation has the second pivot. First pivot, second pivot. And we have a row of zero, basically saying that the last row is redundant. There's no information. When we have reached here, basically we can say that although we have three equations and two unknowns, the two unknowns have pivots and therefore they can be solved. As such, we can solve for the x, y for the given equation for any h. Therefore, h is not important in this example x and y can all be found for any h implying that these three vectors are dependent of each other regardless of any h so what does this mean it means that we're given the first vector we're given the second vector and this vector spans a plane we use two vectors in r3 and they span the plane in this three dimension and this vector, interestingly, for any h, is on that plane. It is a point on that plane, plane for the given h. That is why these three vectors are linearly dependent. The first two vectors can be used to find the third vector, regardless of any h. Thank you.